Sup, name's Rec, I'm a coach, welcome to another sample. Holiday edition style, where, unfortunately this is all past now, but I still have to <laughs> throw the marketing on. These were the free giveaways that went to all of my community over the span of Christmas and January. So essentially December to January, I gave away all free samples to all anyone that applied in my community. We did, I think almost 50 VOD reviews without even batting, a, batting an eye. We're just cleaning up the remainder of them now. So if you're seeing these after the after January 31st, just keep in mind, all of them were submitted prior. A couple of them were resubmitted because of the Overwatch code problem thing, which is why a lot of them are being crammed in at the end of the patch cycle before February 7th. So if you're seeing these prior to that date, that's probably why. But yeah, meet Seal. Seal is a, let's see here, I've got the info, a Bronze 3 support player playing Kiriko, and we're on Oasis. So yeah, let's see how we go with this. It's going to be some good times. Also, in case anyone's wondering, if anyone asks, wonders why I ask for IGNs, and normally because people have separate IGNs from what they use on Discord, it's obviously even harder if I can't read the language at all. So, yeah, this is why I asked for it, chat, in case you were wondering. This is why. It's all here can't read a single name here at all, apart from the ones that are just using English characters. So yeah, Let's see what we got. <clears throat> now everyone's already heard my usual spiel about, you know, if you're playing Kiriko and you want to be able to hit DPS out, left click Kunai, always the easy way to go. Let's see what we end up with today though. So, a little bit spaced away from our target. Keeping the funnel out though, which is good. Problem is we didn't keep track of where the tank was. Could have found an opportunity to actually hit him with... <clears throat> Pardon me. To hit him with the... My brain just farted. Ah, uh, sorry. Uh, Suzu, that's what it is. Hit him with the Suzu and keep him alive. If you're worried about like where the damage is going to go from there, I would sincerely recommend, if you're able to keep space, just look at shadow stepping across and then walking backwards behind this pillar here. Keep your keep yourself safe and will also allow you to keep both you and Winston alive long enough to actually make sure the fight stabilizes. Because he, he has unfortunately made a grave error in charging forwards like this. If you can't actually make up the damage on anyone else as that dive happens, you're going to immediately be falling behind. Which is unfortunate given that it's bronze and like, you know, aiming's a bit of a premium around here. So you have to make sure you're actually able to make the best of that. But if he keeps jumping in like a psychopath, it's not going to end well for you. But there was a trade, so that's okay. Very far away from that. Okay, good save. Got to work on that turn speed, though. So when you get, like, caught up like that, right? Like, I get that you wanted to try and help him, and it was quite a, like, a hefty attempt. But obviously, yeah, you getting stuck against the wall like that and trying to turn around. Like, you can't lose your bearings in that way. And you shouldn't be standing out into the open against anybody, especially not a tank that can immediately hurt you. So try to use the cover that you have to your advantage. So you've got your pillars here. You've got the ability to dodge around. You should be using that to your advantage. The less that you like faff around with that, the easier it's going to be for you. So you'll end up with less issues around that and less chance of you dying. Time to get clever. But yeah. Now unfortunately you're going to keep fighting this on the back foot. Positioning wise, this is only going to be made harder for you. So I would really recommend waiting until your team is here. Never turn your back to the open corridor though. Just stay behind cover and just wait. You've got time and if you need to know where your teammates are, that's what the tap button's for. Just throw the kunais, bud. If there's nothing going on, you should be throwing kunais at where they are and stop aiming at the floor. Yeah, we're finally remembering to throw them out, but they're not really doing anything here. In that spot you're stuck in, like, you're not really getting any benefit of actually, you know, driving out any kunai here. All, you, all your teammates are almost full health as well. Like, look at it. It's all, they're all full health. Why, why aren't we trying to DPS people? Why aren't we shooting at the chest neck level? Get those kunais out. Start hurting people. You've got time. Your, your healing throughput is actually quite high as Kiriko. So you're actually able to, like, you know, just drop Suzu on whoever needs it beforehand and just make sure they will be funneled back to full. You've got time. But you should be keeping an eye on, like, your teammates, like, your teammates' health bars. Because while you've got everyone in a good spot, you've got more than enough time to actually make that easy for you. But if you take too long, good, nice walk on. If you take too long and people are worried about that, that so, all that damage augmentation is out the window. You need that time. All right, let's see what we got. Come on, let's get a good throw. Like you're already given away before they even peek out. They can see you there. You should be just trying to hit those hits. 
It's fine though. You're in a safe spot as well, so it's very hard for them to hurt you. I don't know if using the Suzu there was a good idea. That would have been the better spot. Because yeah, it doesn't work against um like the the lamp doesn't work against Arisa ult because it will just die off as well. That's why Suzu is the best for that. Can't really save him there. Just have to leave and just get your ult. Yep, cool. Yeah, you wasted the Suzu there. Is <clears throat> mainly because your position was a bit off and you just end up putting yourself back onto low ground. If you're going to try and save the Genji that hard, it would be better for him to just jump out. And you can just worry about someone else. Like, Genji's supposed to be self-sufficient. You can't have people just getting completely picked off every single time. You're playing, like, Kiriko way too much like a, like Mercy. You're spending too much time, like, funneling healing into people. You're not trying to be any sort of, like, you're not any sort of aggressive threat here. Because, like, Kiriko's, like, the jack of all trades. Like, you're able to do everything with it. That is a waste of a Suzu again, because he was already not taking damage. You should have done that way earlier. And there should have been when everyone was alive. Like, just for understanding's sake, right, there is actually a time when everyone is actually bunched up before coming to this point, which is here. And this is when the ulti is best used, because you've got people that will, go, that will come out with you, probably right before... Hopefully before Baptiste dies, but the idea is that if you actually get to a point where everyone's together and you use your ulti, then everyone benefits from it. And you at least need that to be available. But you're spending this on your own when you're here and there's no one here to actually help you. You are very much hoping that you will actually get those hits, which is sort of working in your favor. I would chuck the Suzu earlier, never mind. That's why you're meant to throw it close range. That's normally why everyone suggests that you shadow step to your target before you drop Suzu on them. But I mean, at that point in time, it's like... You had to commit to it anyway because you were late to this fight and it was going to over time tick anyway, so... I get the whole not dying thing is nice, but you didn't really contribute anything here. You're playing, like, Kiriko too much like you would play Mercy. You're just focused way too much on healing and you're not actually, like, monitoring the thresholds of your teammates. And you're not actually getting to a point where you can actually start hurting the enemy and helping your teammates augment damage. And you're not really contributing at all. Oh god, that bug is still very painful. Alright, let's see what happens here. Decent Suzu. Decent start. Again though, like almost everyone's full and we're not do we're not throwing out enough damage. We need more there. Like, especially in Orisa's case, like while that armor is still in play, like you've got the ability to actually do that. There's a very greedy Suzu use there. Didn't really give you any benefit. So if you have the ability to actually dish out damage prior to, you're just going to... You really, like, lessen the chance of your team getting run over like this. So you keep greedily, like, dropping Suzu below yourself, which is, you know, understandable in some cases with all the damage you're going to take, but... You want to be able to actually, like get more out because you're not your team's not applying any pressure at all and a lot of that is just because lol bronze dps or whatever you want to call it but like there's things that you can very much do to help this and you're not contributing at all like you're just purely being a heal bot you have, i don't think you've even done like more than 500 damage this game i'm sure you've done a good amount of healing but you've actually not contributed any damage at all here like the whole point of kiriko is to be like the the like, to be a damage threat, as well as, like, you know, being able to contribute via healing. But you've not done either at this point, and that's why your team is getting run over. Like, yeah, okay, your DPS are weak, your tank's getting murdered. But if you want to, like, wonder how you can contribute to actually fixing this, then you have to just be more involved. You're just very much, like, you're just another Mercy at this point. You're not actually helping here. This is looking like very much being run over, yeah. Oh dear. Well, at least we got an ulti out there, but... I don't see you surviving this. Oh, there we go. That was pretty cool. I'll give you the credit for at least trying to, like, get more out there, but you just missed way too many kunai shots. <laughs> when you miss that many, it only makes life harder, which is unfortunate. Like, you had the right idea, and I give you credit for it, but I think the problem there is this you just didn't bring anything out from that. Like... 
I, I, I'm not saying it's, like your sensitivity is like high enough that it shouldn't be too hard for you to at least turn around, but it shouldn't be like too high in the sense that you would just keep over swinging past your target. I'm not saying change it, but maybe just a bit of aim prac might help. Because it's very, very hard just constantly watching you just swing away from your target or just being too afraid to to do more. Like, yeah, you're playing Kiriko too much like you would play Mercy. And that's very, very difficult. It doesn't really give you, like, a whole lot to work with here. This was only a really short one because, like, your team essentially got rolled over here. There wasn't really a lot to talk about. The main talking point, though, is that, yeah, as, as Kiriko, you have to find the balance between healing and doing damage. And you're just not finding that at all. You're just over committing way too hard to healing everyone's already at full health and you're not finding any time in between that to do damage and then when you are finally remembering to do so your ults haven't been with any teammates available you've missed the majority of your kunai shots i don't think you actually went over a thousand damage this game at all that's very nerve-wracking to me you really 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 have to understand if you're going to play kiriko you should be very much just trying to do that if if i were you if you're trying to make life easy for yourself i'd recommend playing batiste and just having that hit scan shot and then just being able to just alternate between the two and actually doing more like with that. It's basically an easier version of Kiriko, but Kiriko provides more in the long run. So it's more about just like figuring out what you can do there. But if you're going to keep playing Kiriko, it definitely needs to be more kunai thrown out. There needs to be more damage pressure. There needs to be more of everything. Okay, thank you, Seal, for your video. I hope everyone enjoyed this sample. It's very short, but uh, yeah, we got all the simple points out today. So I hope everyone enjoyed. I'll see you again in the next one. Love you all. Best to you. Bye-bye.